Coming up next on the Passion Struck Podcast, creative activities can be a powerful tool for self-expression, providing mental and physical benefits, such as reducing stress levels, boosting self-esteem, and improving cognitive functioning. It is crucial to find the proper creative outlet to suit you to maximize its potential. Welcome to Passion Struck. Hi, I'm your host, John R. Miles, and on the show, we decipher the secrets, tips, and guidance of the world's most inspiring people and turn their wisdom into practical advice for you and those around you. Our mission is to help you unlock the power of intentionality so that you can become the best version of yourself. If you're new to the show, I offer advice and answer listener questions on Fridays. We have long form interviews the rest of the week with guests ranging from astronauts to authors, CEOs, creators, innovators, scientists, military leaders, visionaries, and athletes. Now, let's go out there and become passion struck. For as long as I can recall, I am troubled by the belief that I am devoid of creativity. While I am a writer, I am not the imaginative type who makes things up effortlessly. I am like the baker who is lost without directions and a recipe, a percussionist who never learned to improvise, and a failed illustrator who panics at the thought of putting pen to paper. I see the ability to unleash your creativity as a trait that you either possess or lack, and I have always felt that I lack it. If you can relate to this, you're not alone. According to James C. Kaufman, a professor of psychology at California State University at San Bernardino and the author of Creativity 101, a large number of people do not consider themselves creative. This perception often becomes self-fulfilling and limits our potential to develop our creative skills. Sadly, this trend has become more pronounced in recent years with scores on the Torrance Test of Creative Thinking, a 90-minute assessment of visual and verbal skills plummeting since 1990. However, in today's episode, I want to challenge this have it or don't mentality. And I'm going to ask you to see creativity as a fundamental aspect of human development, as important as learning to read or to count. I want to explore why I have come to believe we all have the power to unleash our creativity and express ourselves in unique ways. But how do we tap into this power? Is there a way for us to nurture our inner artist and bring out the best of what lies within? In this episode, you'll learn what it means to unleash your creativity as well as explore creative arts, its purpose in society today, the importance of beauty through self-expression, nurturing your inner artist and embracing yourself with self-love. So let's get started. Being creative is having the capacity to think outside the box and to generate original concepts. It's a skill that can be acquired through practice, dedication, and self-reflection. Unleashing your creativity has many benefits, such as increased productivity, improved problem-solving skills, enhanced communication abilities, and greater self-confidence. To unleash your creativity, you must first understand what it means to be creative. Creativity involves taking risks and exploring new ways of thinking and doing things. It also requires an open mind to consider different perspectives and possibilities. Once you have a better understanding of what creativity entails, you can begin developing strategies for unleashing it in your life. One way to do this is by engaging in activities that stimulate creative thinking, such as brainstorming sessions or playing games like charades or Pictionary, which require quick thinking and imagination. You can also try experimenting with different mediums like painting or sculpting, which allow for more freedom of expression than traditional art forms like drawing or photography. Additionally, reading books on topics related to creativity can broaden your perspective on the subject matter while inspiring new ideas within yourself as well. Unleashing your creativity can bring about positive changes in all aspects of life. It is an empowering process that helps us express ourselves and improve our overall well-being. Creative arts provide a great way to further explore this journey. So let's explore how they can help you unlock your full potential. Art is a powerful tool for self-expression and can be used to explore our innermost thoughts, feelings, and experiences. It allows us to express ourselves in a way that words cannot always capture. Creative arts provide an outlet for our emotions, allowing us to communicate without verbalizing our thoughts or feelings. By engaging in painting, drawing, sculpting, photography, music, or writing, we can express ourselves on a deeper level than just talking about it. The health benefits of creative arts are numerous. Studies have shown that engaging in art therapy 
can reduce stress levels and help us manage anxiety and depression symptoms by providing an outlet for negative emotions. Art has also shown the power to boost self-esteem by assisting individuals to gain confidence through their own creations. Additionally, research suggests that art can improve cognitive functioning and enhance problem-solving skills because it stimulates the brain's neural pathways. According to psychologist Dr. Dacker Keltner from the University of California, Berkeley, that awe, wonder, and beauty promote healthier levels of psychotines suggests that things we do to experience these emotions, a walk in nature, losing oneself in music, beholding art, has a direct influence upon health, and life expectancy. Creative activities also offer many physical benefits. They can increase flexibility and range of motion while strengthening muscles throughout the body with repetitive movements like stretching or sculpting clay figures. Painting is another great way to get your body moving, requiring you to use your arms in a variety of motions, which helps build strength over time. Other forms of exercise such as yoga, qigong, and tai chi may also be beneficial when combined with creative expression, since they involve mindful movement, encourage Encouraging relaxation while simultaneously improving focus and concentration. Overall, creative arts are a powerful tool for self-expression and our well-being. By exploring the power of art, we can unlock our inner artist and discover how it can heal us emotionally, physically, and spiritually. Let's now dive deeper into this topic. Art has the power to heal and transform lives. It can be used is a form of therapy, as we've already discussed, helping us to process our emotions, help us express ourselves creatively, and find solace in times of difficulty. But how does art actually heal? Art has been used for centuries as a way to cope with difficult emotions and experiences. By creating something tangible out of intangible feelings, we can externalize our inner struggles and gain insight from them. Studies have shown that engaging in creative activities, such as painting and drawing, can reduce stress levels by releasing endorphins, which promote relaxation and well-being. Additionally, art allows us to explore different aspects of ourselves without fear or judgment. It gives us an outlet for self-expression that is often lacking in everyday life. So now let's dive into the innate or learned ability to appreciate a work of art. While some people may naturally possess an eye for beauty, when it comes to appreciating works of art, Others must learn how to recognize its value over time through practice and dedication. This appreciation is developed through exposure. The more you look at various forms of artwork, from sculptures and paintings to photography, the better you will become at recognizing which makes each piece unique or special. Learning about different techniques used by artists throughout history can help you cultivate your understanding of aesthetics so that you can appreciate even more subtle elements within a work like color palettes or brush strokes. Once you have found your niche, don't be afraid to experiment. There are no rules when it comes to creating art. Just let your imagination run wild. With enough practice and dedication, those first few attempts will eventually turn into beautiful pieces worthy of display. Art has the power to transform lives, heal wounds, and create beauty in the world. Next, I'll explore how art can be used to make a positive impact on society today. Art has been part of human life since the dawn of time. From cave paintings to sculptures, art has been used as a form of expression and communication for centuries. But what is the purpose of creating art in society today? The primary purpose of creating art is to express oneself and to communicate ideas, feelings, or stories. Art can evoke emotion, inspire thought, and bring joy into people's lives. It can also be used as a form of protest or social commentary on current events. Additionally, it can provide an outlet for creativity and self-expression that might not be available in other states, such as writing or music. Art plays a very important role in our culture by providing us insight into different perspectives and experiences that we may not have access to otherwise. It allows us to explore new ideas and concepts while connecting to others through shared interests or experiences. Additionally, it serves as a platform for dialogue between cultures, which helps us to foster understanding between different groups of people who may not otherwise interact with each other regularly. Art is a powerful tool for making an impact on our world and can be used to create beauty, express emotion, or even challenge the status quo. By cultivating an appreciation for beauty through creative expression, we can explore how art can shape society in beneficial ways. Art is a manifestation of our ideas, feelings, instincts, and aspirations. Still, it goes well beyond that. It is a reflection of how we perceive the world, which for many is a manifestation of their individuality. Art is the transmission of private ideas that cannot be accurately conveyed solely through words, since words fall short 
we must find alternative ways to convey our intention and cultivate an appreciation for beauty through creative expression, which can be done in several ways. The first is to develop an eye for beauty. We all have the capacity to appreciate beauty, but it takes practice and dedication to cultivate this skill. To start, try looking at everyday objects in a new way. For example, take a walk outside and observe the natural world around you. Look closely at the intricate patterns of the leaves on the trees or admire the vibrant colors of flowers. By shifting your perception and paying attention to details that may otherwise go unnoticed, you can begin developing an eye for beauty in nature. Taking time out of your day to explore nature is not also calming, but it's inspiring and it's actually good for your physical and mental health. Whether it's taking a hike through a nearby park or simply sitting on your porch watching birds fly by, immersing yourself in nature can be incredibly therapeutic and provide creative inspiration. Take note of what catches your eye. Perhaps it's the shape of clouds against a bright blue sky or how water reflects off water droplets on grass blades. These small moments are often overlooked yet full of potential creativity waiting to be unleashed. It's important to remember that art comes in many forms, from painting and photography to sculpture and music composition. There is no one right way when it comes to expressing yourself creatively. Spend some time exploring different mediums until you find something that resonates within you, whether it's drawing abstract shapes with charcoal pencils or playing around with digital software programs like Photoshop. Experimentation is also vital when cultivating an appreciation for art. So let go of preconceived notions about what art should look like and just enjoy creating without judgment. By cultivating an appreciation for beauty through creative expression, you can open yourself up to a world of inspiration and possibilities. You can nurture your inner artist and create something beautiful with practice and dedication. Whether you're a painter, sculptor, musician or writer the only way to grow and improve as an artist is through practice it's essential to set aside time each day for creative pursuits and be consistent about making progress don't be discouraged if it takes longer than you initially expected remember rome wasn't built in a day and that leads to the importance of practicing your craft let's face it we've all heard practice makes perfect when it comes to honing your skills as an artist there's no substitute for putting in the work. Consistency is the key when developing any skill, even creativity. So try setting aside at least 30 minutes daily, dedicated solely to working on projects related to your art form. You may find that this helps you stay motivated and inspired throughout the process. And remember to overcome fear and also perfectionism, which is something I've talked about in some recent episodes. Fear can be one of the biggest obstacles standing between you and success as an artist. It can manifest itself in many forms, such as procrastination or self-doubt. But whatever shape it takes, fear should not stop you from what brings you joy in your life. The same goes for perfectionism. Don't let yourself get bogged down by striving for perfection. Instead, focus on creating something meaningful with whatever resources are available right now. One great way to stay motivated while practicing your craft is by surrounding yourself with other artists who share similar goals and interests to yours, whether they're friends or colleagues. Having someone else around will help keep you accountable while also providing valuable feedback which can help push you further along in achieving success with your artwork. Additionally, taking breaks from time to time will give both mind and body much needed rest before diving right back into creative pursuits again. So remember that too. With dedication and practice, you can unlock your creative potential. Now let's explore how self-love and acceptance are essential to unleashing your creativity. Creativity and self-love are intertwined. When we embrace our creative side, we learn to accept ourselves as artists and cultivate self-compassion. To understand the connection between creativity and self-love, it's essential to realize that art is a form of self-expression. It allows us to express our feelings, thoughts, and ideas in ways that can be difficult with words alone. By creating something beautiful or meaningful from within ourselves, we develop a greater appreciation for who we are as individuals. Learning to accept yourself as an artist is essential for cultivating self-love. This means allowing yourself freedom to explore your creative passions without fear of judgment or criticism from others. It also involves recognizing your own unique talents and abilities while embracing 
any mistakes you make along the way as part of the learning process. As you become more comfortable with expressing yourself through art, you will find that it becomes easier to love yourself unconditionally, even when things don't go according to plan. There are many strategies for cultivating self-compassion while embracing your creative side through acceptance of yourself as an artist. One way is by setting realistic goals for what you want out of your artistic endeavors. This helps to ensure that you will stay calm and motivated if progress isn't made immediately or perfect right away. Additionally, try not to compare your work too harshly against other artists. Instead, focus on your gain. Look at how far you've come since starting out. Finally, practice gratitude. Take time each day to appreciate all the beautiful things about being alive and having access to such amazing tools like art supplies, which allow us so much more potential for growth. Creativity is an essential part of life, and it's important to nurture your inner artist in order to unleash your creativity within you. By exploring creative arts, understanding the power of art, and cultivating an appreciation for beauty through creative expression, you can open yourself up to a world of self-expression and well-being. With practice and dedication, you can learn to unlock your potential potential as a creator, allowing yourself to explore new ideas and discover hidden talents. Ultimately, by embracing your creative side with self-love and acceptance, you will be able to unleash your creativity in ways that are meaningful for both yourself and society at large. I hope you all enjoyed today's show, and I want to thank everyone who wrote in this week and especially those of you who listen to today's episode. You're about to hear a preview of the Passion Struck podcast interview I did with Oksana Masters, the United States most decorated winter Paralympic athlete, about her journey from a Ukrainian orphanage to the podium. She was nominated for three ESPY awards this year, including Best Female Athlete. During our interview, we launched her absorbing and triumphant new book, The Hard Parts, a memoir of courage and triumph. It really all started turning around where I started realizing that I'm going to make this dream real it was because of all the negativity that kept coming and everyone determining so much for me. And I guess maybe my dream was starting to advocate for myself. And that's by doing it by showing and not just trying to fight back with words, but just prove people what someone with no legs can do and a girl can do or that you can come through these really messy, horrible experiences and be use those horrible, sad things or the bad days as fuel and being that secret weapon to guide you in where you want to go. The fee for this show is that you share it with family and friends when you find something inspirational or useful. If you know someone who's looking to unleash their inner creativity, then share this episode with them. The greatest compliment that you can give us is to share this show with those that you care about. In the meantime, do your best to apply what you hear on the show so that you can live what you listen. And until next time, live life passion struck.